Welcome back, friends. Let's take a look at this exercise. Here's our goal. So print from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the even numbers. So how do we do it? Well, first of all, we have to generate the list. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We'll keep, we can do that with a for loop easily. And then we need something that we can use to go through the list and pick out, for example, the 2 and the 4. Just as well, we could pick out the 1, the 3, and the 5, the numbers that are not even. Okay. So the for loop I've already talked about on this channel. I have other videos attached and my playlists on the for loops. So here I'm just going to go through that. So for int i equals 1 because that's the first value. i is less than or equal to 5 because that's the last value. And then these values in the list increase one by one. So you're going to do i plus plus. That's it. So this is the part I've talked about in other videos. Print this for now. Take a look. Console.write line i and then terminate with a semicolon. So that's our statement. Let's run this. So debug server the debugging controller 5. As you can see, this just prints the list in a column, one, two, three, four, five. Now we have to go and apply some kind of filtering mechanism. Well, the way to do that is to use an if. So you can say if, and then i. And to be, for example, even, that means when you divide by two, there's no remainder. So you do that by doing the following. You basically use this percent symbol this way. And two, that means you're taking the value that i represents, you're dividing it by two, but you're doing it by looking at the remainder. And then you're going to check, is this equal to zero? That's what this logic is saying. If this is true, if this logical condition here is true, then console.write line operates. That's all. If the logical condition is not true, then we just skip back to the loop, basically. So run it this time, debug set without debugging. You see, it picks out the two and the four from the list of values. Set this down. Now, just as well, if you say here, for example, not equal to the zero, so if you take the value that i represents, you divide by two, you look at the remainder of that division, that's what that symbol means, the percent symbol, Then that remainder is not equal to zero, then look what happens. Run this again, control of five, and it picks out the one, three, five as the values, because those are the non-even values. Shut this down, shut this down. Let's do this. Fix this back to a comparison. And go over to debug step into, where was I? And look what happens here. And go pretty quickly through this. Okay, so again, it's just step into, right? You're going to initialize, check the condition. Then you see second, you check the if. If you put your mouse over the if parts, right now it tells you that if divided by 2, i divided by 2 rather, meaning the remainder is not equal, it's false, right? Because the current value of i is 1. All right, so look what happens. Look very carefully at where the control goes. You see it transfers back to the header of the for loop and console that right line never runs. All right, then you check the condition. Now you look here, look very carefully, put your mouse over this. Now that condition, the comparison operator is true. You see it returns a value of true. So console that right line does run. And then you go back to I++. Then you basically check the logical condition, put your mouse back over I. I is three. Three divided by two has a remainder of one, not zero. So look what happens with the control. It transfers back to i++. Go back here. Now i is 4. Well, 4 divided by 2 does have a remainder of 0. So right line operates i++. Okay, put your mouse over i. Well, 5 divided by 2, that does not have a remainder of 0. So look what happens. Control transfers back to i++. Also, that right line never gets touched. Okay, come back over here. Well, now it failed. It failed because the i less than equal to 5 condition failed. So basically, it skipped past the if and the console right line both. Shut this down. Please be sure to like this video if it's been interesting and insightful.